Lagos has always been a prime target for real estate investors and residents looking for luxurious living. Lagos has however been known for congestion and overpopulation with more than 15 million residents calling it home. Relocating to Ibadan has become a frequent conversation among remote workers and people in the gig economy. While I was out exploring Ibadan, I wondered what moving to Ibadan would feel like as someone who had lived his entire life in the Lagos metropolis. After talking to some locals, they all had one thing in common to say about Ibadan. Ibadan is peaceful. I linked up with the realtor who moved from Lagos to Ibadan and was lucky to get a tour of one of their recently completed properties in one of Ibadan's most luxurious estates, a eyebrow neighborhood compared to Banana Island in Lagos. Rumor has it that the Oyo state governor also owns a property in here as well. I'm in the city of Ibadan with Richard. Yeah. Richard of Rich Lux. Richard has told me that here in Ibadan, there's like some really nice properties and he's going to show us one today. So yeah, maybe you can yeah, get me to yeah. move to Ibadan. Of course, of course. So like I did, I moved to move, Lagos. Why, why did you move all the way from Lagos? Yeah, because there are lots of potentials here in Ibadan. So why not also try to explore some other potentials? Lagos seems to be oversaturated already and Ibadan is you know, opening up really, really fast to the real estate industry. So why not come and lay that foundation now before everything moves? Before it gets, gets saturated like Lagos. Really. So what are you, what are you showing us Okay, today? so I want to show you um, a building. It's a four bedroom plus a mid room in one of the best, if not the best estate in the Bano, which Bano. is um, Polakwe Shola. So we have a four bedroom, fully detached and all in suit. Oh, wow. Yeah. So um, I would love to show you so that you can see <laughs> I'm ready. I'm beating the Let's go. Lagos market. So come. Yeah. So, so this is uh, more like the um, free sitting room. Okay. You know, where you can have your little interior before entering the, into the, the sitting room. room. Yeah. So of course, for buildings like this, it also comes with um, your visitor's toilet. Wow. So um, it's not everybody you want to get into. Of course, it should have a visitor. So it is a visitor. Well, I like I like the lighting. Yeah. I like the lighting on the floor. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. So this is one of the rooms downstairs. Don't mind all of this. We are cleaning up, so that's why we have lots wow. of this around. And I also like the tiles. Yes, I like the tiles yes. they use for this property. Yes. No worry. This, this is still a bad one. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in Lagos. This is Never. Okay. Okay. So, you know, everything comes with the wardrobe as well. Okay. And this is the toilet for this one and the bathroom. So, it has a sharp cubby coat and uh, everything is there. Okay. Of course. <laughs> very, very spacious. Okay. So, it's okay. very spacious. It can accommodate anything. <laughs> I'm, blowing I'm, my loving, I'm loving this piece. Exactly, exactly. So look at the lightning, everything is there. The switch are nice, wow. you know, easily to use. You, know, you can switch through your console here. Yeah, your TV console here. Then you can have your hawkish chair, wow. everything, your design and everything. Maybe your dining set somewhere around here. Around here. It's very accommodating. So let's go straight to the kitchen. Oh, wow. I like the dropping lights. Yes, so this is the kitchen, you know. Um, even some Lagos houses will not give you kitchen as big as this. This big. Yes, so this is what we have here and it's fully fitted. So it comes with the kitchen microwave, it comes with the oven, it comes with the gas burner, the heat extractor. Heat extractor. I'm sure you don't expect to see something big, but no, don't worry about it. It's full of <laughs> lots of technology. Then the washing hand basin also comes with the washing oh, it comes, machine. It comes with the washing machine yes, as well. Yes. Wow, that's so it cool. It comes fully fitted and you know, lots of drawers and everything. Aside all the drawers, it has a store out house, yes. wow. which is quite big. Can put a lot of things in here. Okay, lots, lots, trust me. Okay. Let's go upstairs home with no stress. And I like the lights, man. You know the way this stuff will light up. Yeah, yeah. But in Lagos, you know this will probably be automated. So when you put your leg, it will come on. Uh, automated depends on individual. So there are how many rooms are up here? So we have um, three rooms up and two downstairs. Okay. So this is one of the rooms. This is not the master's bedroom. And why is this so big? Exactly. This is not the master's bedroom. It's just one call. Why is this so big? It's exactly. so big. It also comes with, of course, the bathroom. 
We're about to go into my favorite part of the entire building, which is the master's bedroom, as I'll be unable to show you the third room as some of our files were mishandled and got lost during transfer, which is really sad. But we'll be checking out the family lounge area and also the balcony shortly. Rental value around here for a property like this ranges from 5 million naira to 7 million naira, which I think is pretty decent considering its location and accessibility. Will you pay 5 million naira for this? In the next 50 seconds, I'm going to plug you to PyCharge. They offer 13 months warranty on all their cables and chargers, which means if you purchase from them and something happens to it in 13 months, they'll replace it for free. I got my first PyCharge cable in 2020 and it followed me to Ethiopia and many other countries. It only just died a natural death about a week ago. It lasted 3 solid years. Anyways, I just restocked and this time I got 3 cables for all of my other devices. It comes with a nice pouch that makes it easy to carry around when I am out exploring and making videos. Before I started to travel, I made passive income by partnering with them as a retailer. They sell to you at a discount and you sell at the exact price on their website or even more. It's a win-win for everybody and you can get started with just 20,000 Naira. The coolest part about partnering with them as a retailer is they also help you generate sales from time to time. Visit PyCharge.ng to get started or contact them through the link in the description below for more information. Come on, so this is the master's bedroom. You know. Whoa. It could take your king, Whoa. but the king size bed. It could take two king size beds. Exactly. And so I love this. I view. love this one here. Ah, it wow. gives you this view, you know, you have the you know sunlight, wow. the sunset, everything bouncing. You in. feel like a billionaire in the morning, of you come course, here of with your coffee course. and just sit. This is the master's bedroom. This is the walk-in closet. Lots of everything for madame, for Oga, for everybody. Oh, wow. Space for everybody's stuff. And this is the Master's, master's bathroom. Come in, come in, bathroom. Come in, so come it has in. a bathtub. Look at this. And as well, a shower for people. So some clients tell you that, okay, I don't like the shower for people, or I don't like this. So, you know. You give them both. So we give them both. Like, you know, just choose, for choose whichever one you. Anyone and I like this because exactly. your wife can be here, and, and you'll be here. And your wife and just one can be in both. It can be in both. <laughs> If oh, this is the family lounge. It will run from here all the way to this place. This is such a big space. Yes, yes. Wow. So you can have your family lounge all this place. Or you can utilize it for something else. Like maybe uh, put a snooker board. In the house or snooker board. Yeah. Or anything. It's your choice. Why you use the other side as a family as lounge. A family lounge. This is the balcony. You know, very spacious. Imagine you having your greenery. Green grass, you green know. grass, and uh, do your what's this chair? chair? Yeah. Oh, wow. Sit out and all. You know, it's well. Richard, done. I'm imagining myself in this property already. This is one of those properties in Ibadan. Not just the only properties, of course. One of the. Oh, wow. You can go through my page. You see a whole lot of luxury properties. I think I have to start aspiring Ibadan. to exactly. aspire. People are already coming from diaspora, from everywhere. They want to settle in Ibadan. I have clients that don't want to live in Ibadan. Want to live here in Ibadan because it is peaceful, it is calm, it's serene. It's serene. There is no hustle and bustle that we experience wow. in Lagos here. The traffic is not there, and very peaceful. That's the word for Ibadan peaceful. Peaceful. I'm yes. going to hold on to that word peaceful. peaceful. peaceful yeah. Do you think the train service is actually opening up Ibadan? Do you think it's helping Ibadan in any way, like the real estate and? migration to Ibadan, do you think it's helping? Um, yes, I would say yes in a way because of course we have properties around the train station that are sprouting up and it's because of the train the station train. being there. If not, nobody will be talking about places like Monia, Ido and all of those things, if not for the presence of the train station. So of course, just the way um, Dangote refinery helps yeah, and the Lekki free zone helps yeah. the Lekki, that's the same way the train also, station is also opening up. up. All you know, I came. I came with the train. It's very cozy. Exactly. Have so you used it before? Of course. Oh, it's of course. a very nice service. Yes, yes. So no gallop, no traffic. No, it's just smooth. You know the time you will get. Down yeah, there's again. a specific yeah. time to get here. Yeah. You not told me how much this property is because I've been imagining myself. I need to know how much to know if I should stop my vivid imagination <laughs> or if I should proceed. Okay, so, boy. You know, with this kind of um, luxurious house, you know, I would have loved it to guess. Mm. So start guessing, it's part of okay. your imagination and everything, okay. so probably guess. Mm, looking at this, okay. and the standard of Lagos buildings, okay. and maybe 100 million. Oh, okay, okay. Let me just reframe you back. <laughs> this is more like the pinup of Lagos. of Lagos. This is more like the banana island. 
of Lagos. Lagos. Oh wow! So, so I need to I need to up my price. Yeah, even the, a, a plot of land here is already going for like sixty to hundred to one twenty. Oh wow! To one fifty, depending on the size. So this house, this property is one seventy million. That's the wow. net. If I when you price. said it's like the pinnock, I was expecting to say like two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, I mean two hundred fifty yeah, million. Of course. So because this, if it, if you are talking about security wise. Mm -hmm. This estate is very, very secured. Like you don't just come in. What's special about this estate? Is there any special thing that makes it like one of the best, or if not the best? Okay, the kind of people you have staying in this estate. You have ranging. The governor, of course, has a house here. Then the road network, everything is all tiled. The light is very good. The security is the best. Wow. You know, all of these things are what homeowners look out for before purchasing, purchasing any property. Anything. So, of course, you want if you are coming to Badal, you want to ensure that you are well secured. So, this is one of those property places you you think of to come. 170 million. Please one subscribe million. to my channel and watch my videos so that one day I'll be able to afford this kind of property. Yes, yes. Please hit the subscribe button. Well, yeah. so do you think people should, when they visit Nigeria, they should come to Ibadan? Yes, they should come to Ibadan. But yeah, most people they... always come to Lagos, then fly to Abuja, then go. No, most people do all of those because they feel if you're talking about fun activities, you find them in all of these places. Let me know what you think of this property in the comments and also a big shout out to Rich Logs Global for giving me a tour of this property on short notice. They literally had to post cleaning as I had limited time before catching my flight back to Lagos. Check out their Instagram or reach them via the link in the description below. Don't forget to share, like and hit the subscribe button. Keep spreading positivity and I'll see you on the next one.